Hey bun friends, it is like almost 11 o'clock at night and Jeremy's out in the field for like a week and a half and then he comes home for a couple days and then he goes back out in the field for like another two weeks. So it's always one of the harder parts of, you know, dating a military man because you seriously don't hear from them for like ever, <laughs> sometimes like when they're out in field training. Um, but I've been through some of, several of these and I've kind of learned the best way to get through it is to just keep yourself occupied um so one of the best things is like right now normally if he was home we would be in bed or he would at least be in bed so i couldn't like lay in bed and read and now that he's not home i can finish my book because i can leave the light on i need to invest in a book light but um i like to lay in bed and read i don't like to read like out on the couch with the tv on because then i feel like i can't concentrate on two things i like to be like zoned in on my book so i'm gonna read and I'm going to hog the bed, but I'll tell you one thing I hate about sleeping at night when he's not home is I constantly, like, I don't sleep while my mind is way too active because I hear, like, the wind howling or I'll hear, like, the neighbors or something or I feel like someone's going to come open the door so I'm constantly getting up and checking it and, like, oh, it's just, it's a mess, but I'll make it through. Hopefully there'll be some exciting things this week that happen. Um, most likely not because uh, I probably what I'll end up doing is I might end up decorating or like reorganizing things in the apartment. This is what I do every time he goes out to train. So we'll see what happens. Hi, bun friends. So we have a freeloader on our porch. So remember that pigeon that I was like, oh, it has a broken wing. I'm going to be so nice and give it bread and water because it can't fly. So yesterday I woke up and like it was still there. And then I was getting ready for work. And as I was leaving for work, it was gone. It was nowhere to be seen. It wasn't underneath us. It, I thought it might have taken a suicide jump. I thought maybe one of my neighbors just put it out of its misery or something. Well, guess what? I'm about to go out here and start the grill. And this bird, this, this free loading bird, was sitting right on my grill and he left a pile of bird poop. What is this free litter thinking he's doing? And then he flew away. Screw that bird, man. Screw him. He flew away. Like he could freaking fly the whole time. <sighs> Stupid bird. Hey, bun friends. So I just had the biggest blonde moment ever. And I really don't understand how this happened. Okay, so I just went to Walgreens, kind of got to pick up some allergy medicine. And I <laughs> I was leaving the store and I walked to the passenger side of my car. Like, like I was getting, I was going to like seriously sit in the passenger side. It's just me. Like, not, Jeremy's not here. And I mean, I was just like really brie. And I look like a freaking idiot. Oh. I swear, sometimes I have these moments and I'm just like, why does this happen? I've never been to another country, so I don't know what it's like to, you know, drive on the, well, not opposite side of the road, but the other side of the car or whatever. So, ugh. oh my goodness, guys. Hello, bun friends. So, if you really know who, who, like, about me, I guess not who I am, but about me, you would know that I am, like, a nerd when it comes to, like, severe weather, like, tornadoes and stuff, because for a long time I wanted to be a meteorologist, up until, like, literally my senior year of high school, like, and, um, so I used to be a volunteer storm spotter, and I, I know, like, I know a lot, like, it's kind of ridiculous how much I know. Well, anyways, so one of the things I miss the most about not living in Kansas anymore is the like not not the weather but like the crazy like severe weather and so to show how much oh no it's disconnected that's not cool uh we'll go with that one this is how bad it's gotten let me show you here okay i'm watching live streams and the thing is is like i have it for both my ipad and for my phone and then i have a laptop running like i'm watching like, four different live streams i'm also like part of it is because like today like Arkansas could get like a lot of tornadoes my grandparents live in Arkansas and their siblings live in Arkansas so I'm just like really keeping an eye out because I love them so much you know and they kind of it's funny they'll text me back hey how's the weather gonna be <laughs> so um yeah so that's how much of a nerd I am just saying hashtag weather nerd oh my gosh hey fun friend um uh, okay I shouldn't be laughing right now because so I vlogged earlier about how I like I watch the storm people and 
I've been watching the weather coverage of what kind of happened in Arkansas because it's somewhat close to my grandma. I mean, she wasn't affected by it because she's west of where it happened. Um, but then there's like more storms coming and it could hit her. But we were, were texting back and forth. And you know how sometimes like, like sometimes my mom will sound like my grandmother because, you know, my mom sounds like her mom. And sometimes I sound like my mom or I sound like my grandma. Like, you know, it's passed down the line. And I've heard stories about my great grandmother. And she sent me this text message. And I seriously could hear both my mom's voice and her voice because she was talking about literally. Hang on. Let me, let me see if I could pull it up. So I didn't like finish, like it cut me off and then it stopped recording. Um, but anyways, what I was saying was she texted me a message saying that this weather scares the shit out of her. And it was just really funny because I guess like. I mean, it's just, like, I don't think my grandma's ever, like, sent a cuss word in a text message or anything, but it's just really funny, and it just makes me, I don't know, <laughs> it just makes me uh, think of my mom and then my grandma, and then, like, I don't know, like, sometimes I think, oh, gosh, how are my kids going to say that one day? <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, I've been kind of watching this. It's almost, like, 10 o'clock, and I've been watching um, the coverage of this now, like, tornadoes and, like, it still can happen tomorrow and it's just, oh. sometimes I, I feel like I've vlogged about this before, or at least I've told somebody, I don't know who, but I sometimes feel, like, a little left out, like, when I was growing up, like, I wanted to be a meteorologist really bad, like, you can ask anybody, I was gonna be a meteorologist so sure, and I ended up, like, just chickening out, I don't think chickening out, I just found a different skill that I was good at. Like, I'm really good with kids and I know it. Um, and I don't regret anything because then I think if I was going to school and meteorology, who knows what have, would have happened. I would never have met Jeremy. So I try not to dwell on it, but, um, this is like why sometimes I do dwell on it is the devastation that happens. And I believe like I could have changed, you know, I don't want to want to be a meteorologist on TV because one, Lord knows I've, I wouldn't be very good at that, but, um, I definitely wanted to be out in the field and I don't know, sometimes I'm just like, damn, I really should have gotten that degree. And I honestly think in life, if I won enough money on a game show that I could do it, I would go back to school to get a meteorology degree, just stay, I have it. But, um, it also makes me miss home a lot because it's like, I feel like if I'm this far from home and some devastating happened like that, like it would... I don't even know how it, like, you know, it's just things I think about. Hashtag anxiety. People would think I'd abuse my rabbit the way she's, like, wanting out. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. See, now that I put the camera on, she's like, oh, okay, I'll stop. But before you should have seen her, she was like, no, please, let me out, let me out. Hello, bun friends. It is, like... 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I've been doing a lot of um, chores around the house. Um, but, yeah, I have to get ready for work. And, like, I have to leave in probably 45 minutes. I mean, i got to get ready for work now. I'm going to go try to start editing the vlog so that I can get it posted. It probably won't be posted till tonight, though. Um, yeah. I don't know what else. Um, it's been a pretty dull week, I guess you could say. Um... And at the same time, um, it's also been kind of an exciting week because I've been, um, you know, I've been contacting principals about job openings. Of course, now I realize that it's probably for internal applicants only, whatever. I'm not afraid to say, hey, look, it may be for internal applicants, but I'm the best teacher you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, and I just have like so much anxiety about this and like I haven't even gotten an interview yet. That's what I think is the most frustrating part is I haven't even gotten an interview and I'm still letting my anxiety get to me. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, I hope this next week will bring a lot of great things. I know Jeremy will be home on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then he has to leave again on Monday. So and it's Cinco de Mayo and it's supposed to be like a party down here, but I want have Jeremy here. So it's going to be really boring. <laughs> they have no friends or at least, you know, old enough friends. I miss my Amy. She's my, she, her and Andre are like my best friends from back, back in college and I miss them a lot. But, um, anyway, yep. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't uh, too boring of a week and try to find interesting things. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'll catch you guys next Tuesday and you'll hopefully, like I said, next week will be fun. All right. 
I love you, bun friends. Have a great week. Bye.